Hey guys, welcome to another Forza Motorsport 6 video, and today we are building Kindlestone's 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee LB, since that car is not even in this game, we're building a 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8, but I'm going to be do my best to make this car identical to his real life car. Now in this video you'll notice when I'm doing the rim, rim shopping that I just fondled around by like looking at them for like 10 minutes straight, and that's because one, I was waiting on him to send me a picture of his rims on his actual Jeep, which he has 22s. Uh, and I always mess with him about it. Um, <laughs> I think he's got 22s. It looks bigger in real life. But um, the first thing you'll notice, and you're probably going to hate me for it, is uh, I'm going to change this over from all-wheel drive to two-wheel drive because Kindle Stone's real-life Jeep Grand Cherokee is rear-wheel drive. And it costs about five grand to uh, drop the um, that. And uh, I was going to do a, an engine swap, but I realized it was about 49 grand to get a V10 in there. I was like, eh, no. And as you'll see, this is going to be the longest part of this video because all I'm going to do is just hover around here rim shopping while waiting on him to send me a picture of his actual rims. So it's going to be like a few minutes of me just looking at rims. So I'll, at the meantime, when I was filming this, I was begging him to send me a picture of his rims so I could pick the right ones. It was pretty, it was pretty funny, actually. But um, again, this is all being done post-filming, yada yada. I'm still trying to figure out how to do audio in the in-game DVR, uh, which sucks, but... Oh, well, it works out pretty well. The game captures in quite nice look. Um, I would guess probably around 30 FPS or so. It doesn't look half bad. Um, yeah, we are just going to goof around here for a few minutes while I'm waiting. Him to see. Like, I think at this point I'd already received pictures of the rims. And I'm just looking through right now just to get a good picture of what to get in the car. Um, or, I know I'm still goofing around. <laughs> okay. So this is my first official uh, Forza Motorsport 6 car build video because I did the uh, Need for Speed car build, which I upload. I don't think I uploaded today. No, I didn't because uh, the day this was filmed was actually the day I uploaded the uh, Forza Motorsport 6 S15 craziness video. Um, but you know, this is kind of cool doing this video. Uh, um, of course, Kindle Sun and I have done a few videos together. Um, I might find some way to do other car builds of, other, of some of my other friends' vehicles. Uh, if I can magically find some sort of Chevy truck, I can attempt to recreate uh, Headshot Silverado or um, stuff like that. Or uh, trying to think of another one of my friends' cars I can recreate in this game. I think that's really the only one I can think of at this moment. But um, yeah, as you can see, we're finishing up here with the uh, rims and the suspension work and stuff. Uh, originally, it was going to drop it down an inch, but I think with the body kit and stuff on it already, it was going to look pretty goofy. Um, but uh, what we're going to do now is paint it and get the fake plastic body on the, on the bottom of the car. Because his car is a 2000, and a lot of cars from that time period, including my truck, if you've seen, have this kind of ugly gray plastic looking crap on the bottom of it. Like the running boards and stuff like that. And I basically recreated that on his Jeep uh, in this game, on this 2014 SRT8. And, uh, as you can see, I'm too lazy to hit the copy and paste button. I just will cut it and paste it, and then modify it. And, uh, I, I initially screwed this up. I come back and fix it eventually. Alright. So then we go on to the left side. Insert that. Drop it on down. Alright. I'm watching this right now for the first time since I actually edited it, and uh, looks pretty sick, actually. But yeah, if the video cuts out, it's gonna go. We're going to the clip right after this, which will be me driving, actually driving the car in a actual race on the top of your test track, and having to do all sorts of stupid stuff to get the race to go well. But it's gonna look pretty good in the long run, I think. I don't know if it's gonna cut out my audio or not, so. Apologies if it does. This is the first time I've had to use multiple clips in a video. Alright, so it's saving our wrap on the car. And uh, we'll head to the track. Alright, so like I said, we're heading to the track now in the Kindlestone Future Grand Cherokee thing. We're going to do a race on the top gear test track. One lap with nine other cars, giving us a total of ten cars for the race. Um, it's going to be pretty sick. Start race. And we're going back to Dunsfold. If you remember, I did the video with the uh, S15. And uh, if it's not up already, the Forza 6 gameplay with the Porsche-powered bug 
Uh, oh wait, I'm uploading this the day after I film this. Spoiler alert, this is going to be a video coming out next week on Forza with a Porsche powered bug. Um, but yeah, we got this two-wheel drive Grand Cherokee, something you don't see every day in a racing game, a two-wheel drive Jeep. Um, I'm more than likely going to sell this after I finish editing this video, just simply because, um, well, I don't need a big Jeep in my garage. It's kind of wasteful. As you can see, I, I decided originally I'm going to use the bumper cam because uh, I, I can actually see the road. Because the third person thing was trash. And what the heck is that? That little red tube car thing. Was that one of them alpha race cars? There's like a million credits in the game. But as you can see, I kind of go really wide on the first turn. And I didn't rewind it initially because I knew I was going to come back. And if you haven't noticed already, I've turned off my brake assist. Um... I'm no longer using the brake assist, so uh, I'm using the ABS on function, uh, which it not only gives me a bit more credit payout, but it's uh, more like Gran Turismo for me now. I don't have to worry about braking every 10 seconds. I can actually drive on my own, which is good. Uh, of course, I'm still using the racing line since I don't have any recommended gear thingy like in Gran Turismo. Uh, I dropped my bag and rear-ended the crap out of this car. If you don't get that joke already, I'm just going to explain it. Um, if you don't remember, I got rear-ended last week, and the girl's excuse when she told the police officers, uh, while we all think it was texting, she told the officer that she dropped her bag. So ever since, anytime I bump someone in the back, I just say, sorry, I dropped my bag, and I use it as a joke um, of quote-unquote dropping my bag. And as you see, I do rewind this, because something happens and I glitch out, so I rewound it a little bit um, to where I could actually tap the brakes in time. And I debated actually resuming from there. All right. One thing that is inaccurate between this car and Kindlestone's real Jeep is the fact that one, this is a whole heck of a lot new. It's a whole um, 14 years newer than his. And on top of that, his has a inline six-cylinder. This has a Hemi V8, I believe a 6.4. Um, yeah, going into this isn't the second. This is the second last turn, and then into Gambon at around six, about 69 miles per hour. Or so when I hit the brakes and uh, across the line. My best lap being a 132.1, so it's not much faster than the uh, toy the Nissan. Yeah, it's a heck of a lot more expensive, but uh, it definitely went well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.